Mrs. Hai In is one of the Vietnamese students who won the full scholarship from IDEAS, the Irish Development Education Association scholarship program. She decided to study the management consultancy master course and gained a lot of experiences in Ireland. Mình đánh giá là môi trường học Ireland là một môi trường thực sự tốt, tốt thứ nhất là về chất lượng giảng dạy. À, chất lượng giảng dạy thì bao gồm có đội ngũ giáo viên và cái chương trình học cũng như là cái nguồn tài liệu để mình tiếp cận cho việc học có một cái điểm mà mình rất đáng chú ý là tất cả các dự án mà mình làm từ suốt cả khóa học ấy là đều đều có liên quan đến những cái mảng khác nhau của công nghệ và mình nhận thấy là cái công nghệ của họ rất là tiên tiến. Ideas is one of the development cooperation programs between Ireland and Vietnam. Up to now, more than 160 Vietnamese students have received a scholarship to study postgraduate courses in Ireland. Apart from education sector, two countries have jointly implemented various development programs in other areas such as investment, trade and agriculture. These achievements are gained partly thanks to the similarities in the socio-economic development between Vietnam and Ireland. Thereby, Ireland can share the lessons and valuable experience for Vietnam. Mặc dù Ireland là một nước nhỏ và cũng không phải là nước ở gần chúng ta, thế nhưng mà trong cái quá trình phát triển của Ireland thì chúng ta cũng nhận thấy là có những cái nét tương đồng. Đấy là những cái kinh nghiệm rất tốt giải quyết các cái vấn đề khó khăn của nền kinh tế. The development of multilateral cooperation between Vietnam and Ireland in recent years had showed Ireland's respect towards the position of Vietnam regionally and internationally. Based on these accomplishments, two countries continues to strengthen cooperation and open new prospects in the future. Hello and welcome to sharing Vietnam on VTC 10 Abit Ong Yet. In the last 20 years, Vietnam and Ireland have cooperated in many programs, especially in the development areas, for example, poverty reduction, gender equality, and human resource development. And in our program today, we have a talk to Mrs. Khoi Morin, Irish ambassador to Vietnam, and she will share more about the development cooperation between Vietnam and Ireland. Thank you, Mrs. Khoi Morin, for joining our program today. But well, first of all, can you give us a general evaluation on the island's development cooperation in Vietnam? Ireland has had a development cooperation program in Vietnam for over 10 years, since 2005 when we opened an embassy in Hanoi. And the development cooperation program has been focused very much on the reduction of poverty for the most marginalized communities. So we have provided targeted support to ethnic minority communities and also a program of support to civil society organizations who are working um, to reduce poverty in Vietnam. We've also had a very successful partnership program called the Ideas Program where we have exchanged ideas and technical capacity between Ireland and Vietnam on issues like economic forecasting, um, financial management and governance. And I think over the last 10 years there has been huge achievements and we can see the impact of some of those supports, particularly in the area of poverty reduction, where Vietnam has made incredible progress over the last 10 years. Right. Regarding to the development areas, what are the most outstanding and impressive programs to you? I think where I have been most impressed is in the area of ethnic minority poverty reduction. We have provided direct support through the Committee for Ethnic Minorities to try and target uh, poverty and to reduce inequality among ethnic minority communities. And I think those communities themselves have really been impressive in terms of taking on uh, those challenges and taking ownership of their own development. And I think that has been hugely impressive. Since I've taken up the post, I've had a chance to visit uh, two areas where we've provided support, both in Hua Bing province and in Quang Chi province. And you can see the real difference on the ground that that kind of partnership, in partnership with government and in civil society, what a difference uh, that can make in those communities in terms of better infrastructure, better chances for a better education, and better chance 
particularly for women and children, to have better access to better nutrition. Right. Human resource development is an important and long-term task for Vietnam, while Ireland has an internationally recognized education system. So can you give us some of the experience lessons of Ireland which can be applied in Vietnam to develop our education system? Well, as you say, Ireland has a very strong track record in terms of education. We're ranked in the top 10 globally of education um, in, in, in the international rankings. And I think uh, what we have done in Ireland is to invest heavily in all stages of education, primary, secondary and tertiary, um, by making education free at primary and secondary level and making it very affordable at third level. And I think that is key to, in terms of access to education. I think also you need to look broadly at uh, not just university degrees but also the quality of education provided and a broader range of vocational training. So in Ireland we have found that working uh, in partnership with industry um, between educational institutions and industry has been key so that the workforce um, that comes out of those educational institutions fit what is required by industry. And you can see that there's a very symbiotic relationship in Ireland between the needs of industry and what the educational institutions themselves um, are investing in. And I think that has been key in terms of Ireland's success in attracting foreign direct investment, because foreign direct investment is based on having the right people with the right skills uh, to work in those companies. And Ireland has seen huge success in that. Improving living conditions and livelihood of ethnic minorities in remote areas is one of the important topics in the development program of Ireland in Vietnam. Accordingly, Irish government is committed to disburse 18.26 million US dollars for the 135 program of Vietnam and support Vietnam to improve the local living conditions through the food and profitable farming production from 2013 to 2015. The program focuses in eight provinces, including Hà Giang, Cao Bằng, Điện Biên, Bắc Cạn, Thanh Hóa, Quảng Ngãi, Con Tum, and Trà Vinh. Between 2011 and 2015, one of the big um, outputs has been that we've uh, constructed 320 small-scale uh, infrastructure in rural areas for ethnic minorities. So these include basic uh, access to uh, health centres, uh, clinics, small um, kindergartens, um, the commune house itself and many small roads and uh, bridges that try to connect uh, villages to the commune centre for people. Other models include uh, growing vegetables and uh, improving the, the content of the food that children who are above six months and up to two years of age actually eat because we found that was one of the issues in ethnic minority areas. During the mission to Vietnam in 2012, the Irish Minister of Education and Skills and Vietnamese Minister of Education and Training reviewed the Memorandum of Understanding on Higher Education Cooperation between the two sides, signed on November 2011. The two sides discussed the program to support Vietnamese students, experts and lecturers to Ireland. This promoted the education links among prestigious universities in the two countries and shared the advanced education models of Ireland to Vietnam. We hope that um, by meeting um, um, both over the next few days that we one um, learn from, from, from Vietnam um, in terms of what the expectation they might have for partnering with Irish universities and two maybe seeing what, what we could do to actually foster these collaborations. Um, I think not only from a student perspective of bringing students to Ireland but also to encourage staff mobility, exchange programs between Irish universities and Vietnamese universities and again and um, the broader linkages into industry. Thông qua cái hoạt các cái hoạt động đào tạo, các hoạt động tổ chức nghiên cứu rồi hoạt động tổ chức các cái hội thảo thì các cán bộ của trung tâm chúng tôi đã được trưởng thành rất nhiều và hiện nay thì đã có thể
từng bước tự chủ được trong cái việc tổ chức các công tác nghiên cứu cũng như là đề xuất các cái chủ đề để có thể hợp tác. Through the activities of development cooperation with Ireland, Vietnam will gain experience in economic development, improving the living standard and training high-quality human resources. This would contribute positively to industrialization and modernization process of Vietnam under the deeper integration stage. So what are the key strategies of the Vietnam and Ireland bilateral cooperation until 2020? Well, I think this year we are evaluating our program to date. Over the last 10 years, we have provided uh, development assistance to Vietnam. During that time, Vietnam has made huge progress and is now an emerging middle-income country, but still with certain challenges. So I think what we're keen to do is to work with the Ministry of Planning and Investment and see where Ireland can best support Vietnam's current challenges. And I think what we will do is to try and continue to target the poorest communities, which is at the goal of Irish Aid's support, but also to see how we can help Vietnam in those middle-income challenges, be it in human resource development, education, and sharing technology and skills transfer between the two countries. What is your expectation towards the bilateral relations between Vietnam and Ireland in the trade and investment area, when the trade turnover between the two countries has gained a significant increase in the last several years? Well, trade between the two countries is at running at about 250 million euros per annum. The bulk of Irish exports to Vietnam are pharmaceuticals, and the bulk of Vietnamese exports to Vietnam are in the textile industry. What I would like to see over the coming years is for those figures to grow a lot. Um, over the last, since 2008, we've managed to um, increase very substantially the trade between the two countries. We've increased it five-fold. I would like to see us do the same or better over the period ahead and see many more exports between the two countries, both from Vietnam uh, and into Vietnam. Um, I think there is a very good framework ahead. Ireland is a member state of the European Union. We are looking forward very much to the ratification of the European Union Vietnam Free Trade Agreement. And we think that that will set the right framework for Vietnamese and Irish companies to do more business together and to increase trade. As an Irish ambassador to Vietnam, what is your expectation towards the Vietnam's social economic development? Well, I think Vietnam has done very well um, over the last 40 years since you've, since you've achieved your, your independence and reunification. And I think um, the challenges ahead probably lie in how to build on that success to date. And Ireland has travelled a very similar journey uh, in terms of opening up to the market. Um, and I know that global integration has been a priority for the Vietnamese government. And certainly uh, there are challenges associated. It's very easy to say those two words, um, global integration. And I think we share those kind of challenges and we look forward to working with the Vietnamese government to address some of those challenges in terms of the kind of reforms that are needed to make business more accessible, more open and more transparent. Thank you, Mrs. Court Morin, for your sharing. And that was also the end of our program, Sharing Vietnam. We have given you some information regarding to the development cooperation between Vietnam and Ireland in the last several years, and we do hope that with all of the outstanding achievements and outcomes, the social economic development of Vietnam will be boosted further in the future with the support of Ireland. For comments and feedbacks, please send it to sharingvietnam at netvietfeed.net. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.